What's up guys, Jake with TN Tactical, coming in with another special video. Today, we're doing something a little bit different, a little, a little offbeat from what we typically review on the channel. Today, we're actually going to do a review of Caliber Coffee in four of their different flavors that they offer. Now lately, YouTube's been playing their games again. If you've ever spent any time on this channel or on other channels, you'll know that a lot of times us gun tubers talk about how um, my subscriber counts and my monetizations and all that stuff. Well, they are at it again. So today I thought it might be fun to kind of edge the algorithm, see what kind of words we can use, what kind of images we can show, and see a sort of a test if it will flag the content you're about to see and cause us to have to do a manual review. Now for our regular subscribers, guys, I know this is not a typical video that we normally do. It's sort of a test. We've done this kind of test before. And I think it's time that we try that again today. Stick with us. I promise next week we'll get back to our regular schedule programming. If you are new to the channel, this is your first time coming across TN Tactical. Who's this guy? Um, check out some of our other content. It's much different than this. If you like some of the things that are featured on the boxes of these coffee flavors, uh, Let's just say I think you'll enjoy the rest of our content as well. Hi, manual reviewer. Hope you're having a good day. I am. So a while back, Paul Mayo State Armory decided to put out their own line of coffee, Caliber Coffee, that features a bunch of different flavors that are named after different calibers, go figure. I thought it might be interesting to finally get a chance to try them. Now, I'm not really one to just go out and buy coffee online and have to deal with shipping and all that, but, you know, I happen to be on Paul Mayo State's website anyways, uh, looking to buy something else. And I thought, heck, why not just throw this sample pack together in there as well in my shopping cart and see how she does. So that's where we're at. That's why we have the coffee here today. And we're gonna let you know how we feel about it. See which flavor is the best. Now there's a couple of things you need to know about my particular taste. Personally, I prefer my coffee the way I like my guns, black. Flat dark earth, that sort of like creamy brown color. However, for this test, I think that to give us the most accurate flavor profile, we're just gonna try each of these four flavors black so that we can not have our, our taste buds swayed one way or the other because of flavorings added in and cream and sugar and other filler like that. Now on top of these each being just black, I put about four ice cubes inside each of these cups. Uh, that way it's a little bit more kid temp. It's not going to be scalding hot when I first try it because let's be honest, no one really wants to burn themselves on this. I personally like to keep it kid temp as close as possible just so I can chug the coffee and move on with my life. I ain't got time to sit here and nurse this thing like I need a birth certificate or something. The only one that's differs from the rest is the 44 Magnum Espresso, which you'll notice we actually have a lot less wire. We use the espresso setting because again, it's supposed to be an espresso shot. You typically use this inside of a latte or a cappuccino where you're gonna have a lot of steamed milk or something else in there to kind of help balance it out. So much stronger, but also we're drinking this black too because that's just how we are. So with that being said, let's go and get into our four flavors that we have today. Starting off with the lightest roast they offer is the 22 Long Rifle Roast. You'll see here it says balanced. And by the way, each of these comes with 12 little coffee shells as they call them. With this combo set of four different flavors, I basically paid about eight or nine dollars for each box, which each box contains 12 cups in there. 100% Arabica, Arabica. Ara How do you pronounce Arabica? Arabic, whatever. 100% uh, Arabica, whatever that word is there. Balanced cup with fruity caramel notes. So here is the 22 Long Rifle. Some faint hints of fruitiness to it. And I do pick up a slight smell of caramel as well. Let's give it a quick sip here. Not much to say to it, it's pretty smooth. Goes down, feels fairly watery, honestly. Not too bitter at all. Personally, I kinda like my coffee a little bit kicked to it. Maybe that's why I didn't quite care for it. You could pretty much just chug this straight up and you'd be fine. It doesn't really have much of a bitter aftertaste at all. It goes in smooth goes down smooth. All right, next up is the medium roast nine millimeter. Yes. On the side here, it says a complex nutty caramel. Let's see how it is. A little bit more bare. Definitely tastes nutty though, extremely nutty. So it's got a little bit of an aftertaste 
He first get hit by the nuttiness and it's got a little bit of bitterness. Look at that company that nuttiness to it. And then as you go through it and drink it, there's definitely a prolonged bitterness to it after you've drank it. Interesting. Next up is the 300 Blackout. This is the extra dark roast. Bold caramel red fruit. Sweet finish. So the thing about dark roast is it's going to have a little bit more of a smoky profile to it. Um, just because where they do roast it longer. Some people argue that you lose a lot of the caffeine in a dark roast versus a light roast. You do have a slight bit more of caffeine in light roast but the difference is kind of marginal so you're not going to really have an issue as far as staying awake personally i've always kind of preferred dark roast by the way guys have you ever seen a 300 blackout bullet before thought you guys might appreciate this check it out this is a 300 blackout bullet it's a fat boy there as you can see chambers inside of an ar-15 uh, use the same magazines very cool it's just a larger diameter great for subsonic and closer ranges not so great they say for longer ranges but for an east tennessee boy like myself right now i'm loving it now we did just recently put together our first 300 blackout build very excited about it it's the first time i've ever shot through here in blackout and we do have a special video in the works for you so stay tuned for that also apologies for my neighbor uh it's literally like three or four houses down, but they must be using like an industrial leaf blower because it's freaking loud. 300 blackout. I actually spilled a little bit, hence the lower level there. Let's see how she does. Oh yeah. It's definitely got a lot more upfront bareness and smokiness to it as one would expect. But it's good if you know what to expect. If you had drank this for the first time and you weren't expecting it to be of such a flavor profile, you would be sorely disappointed. Again, it's not for everybody. It's sort of a niche, very full, very feeling. It just really, it captures all the taste buds. I, I like to kind of compare it to a dark beer versus light beer. Like the light roast and medium roast, that was kind of like your light beer. And this is uh, like your dark beer, like a Guinness. Much heavier body, but good. Very good. And if you like 300 Blackout and you're interested in seeing my budget build, maybe consider subscribing. Maybe you'll uh, see it pop up here soon. 44 Magnum Espresso. Yep, typically don't want to drink this black, but that's, hey, hey, that's what we're doing today. It says medium dark roast. See that there? And bold, smooth, rich... Crema? Crema? C-R-E-M-A. Espresso. So this is going to be the most bitter one. Espresso beans are uh, a special, special breed of coffee bean. They are extremely bitter, extremely potent. Oh, man. Yeah, I can just, I can smell it. it smells burnt, but that's espresso for you. I do drink shots of espresso on ice, so this won't be my first experience with it, but I'm still not looking forward to it. Let's see how she does. Oh yeah. Yep. That's it. It's about 6 p.m. I'm not trying to drink too much coffee because I'm gonna go to sleep tonight, but this is extremely potent. It's like a kick in the mouth, basically. Right off the bat, bam. Really bad beer, coffee breath, kind of aftertaste. Again, it's got a lot of caffeine in it. This is what you typically expect from espresso beans. Do I like it? I do like it. It's about what you expect. It's not something you sip on. You chug this. Unless you put in a latte. Then you can sip on it. Like this, though? No, thank you. Look how dark it is. It's like extremely dark. The other one's like the light roast look. Let you get some light here. <sighs> Between two, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of see-through. Medium roast is still kind of got some brown to it. Dark roast, you really can't see through that at all. I mean, it's pretty much black. And the espresso is extremely black and opaque as well. Guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Remember, if you enjoyed this content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Man, I'm talking really fast. It's like I drink a bunch of coffee. 
If you didn't enjoy this kind of content, that's okay. We'll get back to our regular scheduled programming next week. Regardless, we appreciate your support. We will see you next time.